Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video. I hope you're all having a fantastic day, a marvelous Monday thus far. And so, of course, I'm going to be giving you the latest on what is happening across the North Atlantic. And so, before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update. Okay, and so of course, as we return to this satellite imagery here, we can definitely see where there is quite a bit of activity taking place. So we see that activity along the intertropical convergence zone. And even inland of Africa, there we have a lot of convective activity. So uh, that African monsoon is very active right now. And uh, that is what influences the tropical waves. When we have more of all this convective activity occurring, uh, we're more likely to see uh, those tropical waves. So uh, this is going to be the continuous trend where we have this activity and eventually with those tropical waves as they make their way off the coast of Africa, they're eventually going to be propagating towards the west across the tropical Atlantic and into the Caribbean. And so uh, let's drift over to the west and take a look at some other areas. So we're looking at northeastern South America, where we have Guyana, Suriname, French Guiana, and uh, we also see a piece of Brazil and Venezuela. So uh, we can definitely see that there is some activity occurring in some of these areas here, lots of cloud cover as well. Uh, and these areas are consistently receiving rainfall thanks to the intertropical convergence zone, because of course, that's where the trade winds of the north and south meet. And once they do, we're talking about the equator which receives the direct rays of the sun so that warm air is going to rise cool condensed to form clouds and eventually we have all this activity though so uh, that's the continuous process that is occurring and that is why uh, all those equatorial regions receive so much rainfall especially as we head to like now in may going into later in the year and so as we move on to the caribbean we can see that conditions are contrasting what is out in the atlantic not seeing much activity just some clouds cover here and there we definitely see all that build up over sections of uh the cayman islands cuba heading to jamaica right there so uh maybe just a shower or so associated with that but nothing much but many of us are going to be waking to some beautiful clear sunny skies and so uh, of course the days are getting hotter you might be i mean i've been seeing the memes and you know persons complaining about the heat and unfortunately this is going to be the trend it's not over yet we're not in summer and it is already so hot and uh, also guys not to make things much more frustrating but uh, with the development of El Nino especially later this year in the latter part of the year uh, we could even see this year being potentially as hot as uh, the hottest year since 2016 or even hotter than that so my best advice to you guys is just uh, to try to stay hydrated as much as possible and try to remain cool and indoors when you can so that uh, you don't potentially suffer from any dehydration or overheating. So uh, please take the necessary precautions in terms of that. But now let's go ahead and talk about the rainfall. So uh, in terms of what the icon is showing, of course, if you're not familiar with this map, uh, the more colorful it gets, the higher the rainfall total expected. So we can see that icon is showing quite a bit of rainfall activity today for the Turks and Caicos Islands and sections of the Bahamas. Not showing that much for the Greater Antilles, but still some activity is expected uh, throughout most of the region. We're not seeing where anything much is it's anticipated. However, as we go down into South America, Northern South America, we definitely see those pots of oranges and reds indicating some of those higher totals. And uh, the Euro model is in agreement with this, but uh, Euro is uh, also showing that there might be be some higher totals of course in the event of heavy rainfall those areas that are not well drained or those low-lying areas they're likely to experience flooding so please take necessary precautions so uh that's what's going on right now that is what is anticipated and here is a closer look back the way at the coast of africa and uh, there we can see all that convective activity as i mentioned earlier but of course these tropical waves are going to be moving off africa yes but only a very small percentage i think it's around 20 percent uh not quite sure right now but i think it's around that uh that percent of tropical waves that move off africa actually develop every hurricane season so uh we have a lot of inhibiting factors out there. We have the wind shear and another is the Saharan dust. Now, this was a huge problem last year. 
because that Saharan dust was in so much of an abundance that even looking at vorticity maps, we could see rotation. However, looking at the actual satellite imagery, you couldn't even tell that a tropical wave would be there. So that Saharan dust was very plentiful. And uh, looking at the current map right now of that layer, uh, to understand it, of course, as we head more towards the oranges, reds, and those shades of pink, that is denser amounts of dust out there. It's more abundant. And we definitely see that uh, near the coast of Africa. I mean, it's coming from the Saharan desert. And so uh, where we have some of that activity, that convective activity, uh, we can see it marked by those whites, of course. And we can see that it is uh, vacant right now of that dry air, especially along the edge. All that activity is beneath that layer. So uh, all those thunderstorms are not really being impacted by that Saharan dust. Maybe just some light infiltration, but nothing too major right now. Uh, but it is pretty much dominant across the tropical Atlantic right now. And uh, for this reason, we typically don't see much activity and we usually see it surging as we head into uh, months such as June and eventually decreasing in quantity as we head later into August, going to the peak of the hurricane season. So of course, only time will tell what's going to be eventually happening. But, but of course, that is why my channel is here to keep you updated on all that is happening across the Atlantic and for the Caribbean. So uh, that is pretty much it for right now. And I hope that you guys found this video to be quite informative. However, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. I will try to respond as best and as soon as I can. And of course, remember to always be with the wise.